race was founded as a solo race. That's really the core and heart of it. It is what most people know it as, is the world's toughest bicycle race. Nobody can tell you what it feels like to do RAM unless they've done it. You're talking about sitting on a bike for 10 to 12 days, living in your own world. RAM will beat you up. I mean, there's just no getting around it, uh, and it's gonna happen to everybody. It's gonna happen to the great riders, it's gonna happen to, to people that aren't, that aren't ter terribly talented riders like me. There are gonna be times in RAM where uh, the last thing you wanna do is get on the bike. There can be times in RAM where you're hallucinating where the lack of sleep catches up to you. You can ride the perfect race in RAM, but you're still gonna get hit, hit hard, no question about it. You know, it just kind of developed organically. People saw it as an opportunity to maximize exposure for the various charities that they uh, wanna raise money for. Um, it's a, a national and a worldwide event. And so that level of exposure uh, led them to see this as a, a great opportunity to get their charity out there and to raise money for it. I, I met the Pease brothers, not in person, but I did. I interviewed them for a radio show that I have, and I just got so incredibly impressed by what they have done together personally as athletes and what they're doing for other athletes that I wanted someday to do something for them, to help them raise money. And when I decided to do RAM, this is the natural uh, financial beneficiary of our fundraising efforts. It's such a unique event that many of the people who participate uh, become very good friends. It's a, a wonderful community, a very supportive community. I think, first of all, with RAM, there's this wonderful, close-knit community of racers. Um, that we all share this common bond of RAM and we'll have that for life. It's this pretty small group. There's only, I think, 300 plus people or around 350 people who have ever done RAM. So we're all connected that way. We're in that group, we're in that club. But then you expand outside of that and you get crew members or you get people who have done relays or people who want to do RAM someday or people who think it's totally crazy and they just want to watch you do RAM. I mean, there's this whole, this whole RAM family that kind of starts with racers and expands from there. And that's what's been really fun for me. So it's become something much larger than a bike race. At, at its core, it's a bike race and it's a coast to coast bike race, which is incredibly unique. But now there's a piece of it that gives back to a much broader community.